Hey guys, how's it going? It's Floodmon14 here. And, uh, I had to save state in between episodes here for Nightmare Troubadour, so I'm gonna catch you guys up real quick. Last time on Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. was to be continued in today's episode. Will Floodmon14 defeat Dux? Will he remember to play the intro video? 
Will he play the shadow game theme from Yu-Gi-Oh? And will Goku achieve the next level of Super Saiyan Yu-Gi-Oh? Find out today on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour Z. Alright guys, and that was a nice little recap. So, as you saw, last episode a lot of exciting stuff happened. Uh, just to update you, we ran into a shadow game for the first time. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be promoting uh, Shadow Game Week on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. And maybe uh, just Shadow Game in general week uh, as far as the channel goes. But anyway, let's boot up Desmond May. I basically saved stated in between episodes. So let's open this up real quick. Let me close all the other stuff that's kind of in the way. Uh, we'll leave that. Yeah, that's where my intro is. Man, we took forever to find that, so... Like, seriously, dude. <laughs> We're gonna leave that up. And, uh, that's kind of fun playing the, uh, Yami no Duel theme, so there we go. Close that out. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour by me, Floodmon 14. And I don't even need to click that. need to click Load State. And I think it was 5, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, back to the duel action. There we go. Uh, does everything look okay for you guys? I think so. Anyway, uh, so you guys saw the last episode. I'm now going to go into my battle phase. And we're basically going to win. That's that's all that needed to happen. Uh, because uh, in the last episode, we had Suijin powered up all the way to 2800. And yes, I mean, we. by the way, yeah, I just casually say that. Yeah. Milestone, dude. Last episode, we summoned the title god Suijin for the first time. Hell yeah. Flood in my... It's in the name. It's in the rulebook. It's in the rulebook. We summoned the title god Suijin. Title surge attack. Wash away his wall of darkness and destruction. And defeat the corruption. You win. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, right, right. And let me show you guys the results there. It looks like we got 78 points and we leveled up and stuff. So that's awesome. Uh, I guess in the background, I'll just leave this. Like, I'll put play, but I won't, I'll keep it paused. And this is from last, last episode, so. Yeah. I hope we can have something chilling in the background there. Yes. And we'll just leave it right and there. There's a good point. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that way when I put it on small screen, you'll still see uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the background. Anyway, oh, we, by the way, we got a new bonus. Uh, max attack bonus. Now, we get three for that. Max attack bonus can be reached um, in that duel last episode. 
because we used Metal Morph a couple times and got Suijin past 3,000 attack, we get the max attack bonus. So that's awesome. We got a new bonus and some more points. Ah, I won't forget your face. You are a disgrace. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got two Shadow Duels in a row. Heck yeah. Whew, I am so excited, guys, to finally have Shadow Games going. Like, that's, believe it or not, guys, like for me, for me, that's the best part of this game. That's what makes this game so freaking awesome, man. And you guys cannot imagine how long. Because, like, we've been dueling at night, right? In this LP for about, oh, how long have we been dueling night duels? Like, at least two nights in a row, right? And we haven't had any Shadow Games. I'm just like, dude, this is boring as hell. We're just playing normal duelists like Mako and Taya. And Sir now, playing Serenity was cool because... She was new, and we needed to unlock her. Yeah, Serenity's cool. She, she, that was that was fine. But like, yeah, playing duels like Mokuba, you know, eh, that's come on, man. All right, but anyway, last in the last episode, we we uh like on our radar, we had Bones twice, and I don't think we fought him yet. Um, dude, I cannot find who the okay, who whoever's up here, I cannot find you, man. You know what? Let's use the mouse, because this is ridiculous, man. Like, where the hell? There you are. Okay. Now, actually, normally I don't do this, but I'm going to look around in another direction. Uh, and we're going to choose where to go based off of where this person is. Ah, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So now, the other two times, Bones was, like, up here. Oh, and by the way, I said I'm going to explain this in the next episode. I lied. I'm not going to explain that yet. Um, let's go to the right, because we've been trying to go straight north twice. So let's go to the right, see if we get another Shadow Duel. Uh, no, we just got Bones. Well, good, because I don't think we fought this guy yet. And he has his, like, usual zombie deck stuff, so. Uh, the name's Bones. You don't stand a ghost of a chance in this. My zombies will drag you six feet under. Go, ectoplasmic fortification! <laughs> Brains, 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 brains. <laughs> uh, yeah, my bones, like, impersonation. <clears throat> Need some works. Spook and boo. Maybe I should just do that. That voice for whatever he says. Just do it in the eerie, like, ooh, I summon Kelsey Guardian. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I'm going to do that for the bones impersonation on the selfie. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's fight him. For the first time, bones. So, like I said... Uh, we recently dueled this guy in Dawn of Destiny, and he has, like, the zombie power deck approach. Um, in this game, you go Nightmare Troubadour, pretty much the same thing. I don't know if he goes with the Gravity Bind strat. I think he does not. He does not have Gravity Bind here in, um, Troubadour, but he does in Dawn of Destiny. So, once again, lots of spell and trap removal will do you wonders. You need, like, Mystic Space Typhoon, Heavy Storm, something, man. You need... I would go for any and all types of spill and trap removal to start this game. Because there's just too many strategies that, you know. Anyway. I summon Clara's Clown. He's going to spook and shock you with a sickle scythe. Oh no. How did you stop it? You can't stun ghosts. My ghost should go right through you and into your soul and take it. Well, too bad. Whip Tail Crow's power of darkness is strong against your... Foolish zombie assault. Yeah, and Bones, I mean, look at his sprite. Look at that dude. Man. I mean, like, I know. Really? Skull Invitation. Okay. That's right. Now, Skull Invitation. Sort of an interesting strategy. Now, this works on both players, right? So, it, any card that's sent to the graveyard is going to inflict 300 per card. So, right now, he's going to lose 300. So after he plays this card, be really, 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 really mindful of what you play. Even magic cards, like, don't play, like, seven magic cards in a turn, because they're all going to go to the graveyard, and that's 2100. Yeah, so if you're going to play, yeah, yeah, don't, like, uh, yeah, this, I really, this is a difficult card to deal with. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Luckily for us, we got Royal Decree which we obtained, I think, a couple episodes ago. Uh, and that will negate all traps on the field. Yeah. 
But first, I think we want to use this. Yeah. First, we want to use Shadow of Ice before I do anything with Royal Decree now. Now, Crow is going to take out Clown. So I'm going to actually set Scale Angel because I kind of want to draw an extra card. Yeah, no need to get greedy and do... I could have done two direct attacks there, but yeah, I'd rather have the free card. So Crow... Attack his clown zombie. Dark Absolution of Wing. Attack. I don't know. I gave him a really cool attack name like two episodes ago, but I forgot it. Alright. Shatter. Sinbon Zakara. Kageyoshi. Yep. And now he's down to 7150. Alright. Well, with that, I think we'll end the turn. So we should be good now, so. Now I have to remember, I have Shadow of Eyes, we need to play that first, and then we have a uh, Royal Decree, so. But then again, he might have something summon in attack mode just to attack Scale Angel. Yeah, another Clown Zombie. You gonna power it up? Yeah! Fucking called it, dude! I'm so good at this game. Alright, so with the power up, um, Clown Zombie will be the same strength as Crow, so. Yeah, much like uh, Bakura, um, uh, Bones likes to play uh, the Violet Crystal as well, which makes sense. I mean, if you're running a zombie deck in this era, might as well run three Violet Crystals. It's the it's it's not the best equipped card, but eh, it's eh, it's all right. Like it can help you. Like right here, we have the same attack, so I'm gonna need to draw something to overpower him or crash, and I'll probably crash. So. And yeah, Skull Invitation. That's okay. You take 300 damage to draw one card. I'll take that. I'll take that. And we drew Spellbinding Circle, so. But what, I, what I'm actually going to do is probably use D-Spell on this crystal. That way I can keep Crow, so. Oh, wait. I don't need to use D-Spell. We just drew Battle Locks, and we have Neo, so. Scratch that. We'll just... Yeah, we'll save D-Spell for some something in the future. All right. So this duel, pretty even. 77, 71, 50, so. But yeah, Bones' face, man. I didn't really talk about this in Dom Destiny, but what a creepy face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Like, ooh. Creepy. I guess they kind of, they didn't have to make Bones creepy, but it fits, though, I guess. All right, so he's down to 71. Shut up. And now your Skull Invitation is going to do 600 points of damage, bruh. Man. That is a very risky strategy to use. But it is it is sort of uh, one of the few burn continual burn strategies you can use in old school Yu-Gi-Oh. So for that reason like yeah for that reason I would say Skull Imitation is actually a lot better than it appears. Uh, because over time all that damage adds up. And really yeah cards are going to be sent to the graveyard by both players regardless uh, in this era of dueling. Now there are a lot of cards like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Even some decks are based around banishing cards to the remove from play zone. Uh, you didn't really have that issue um, before 2004. Like, this game was, I think... Oh, I forgot to use Shadow of Eyes, didn't I? Darn it. Okay. That's okay. We'll use uh, Shadow of Eyes next turn on the next monster he sets. Uh, but I think we got this guy. Ooh, Metal Morph. Good, good, good. Good card to draw here. And that's a, that becomes an equipped card, so... Yeah, that's really good. Uh, now, how should we go with? Another Crow or Battle Ox? Well, you guys know me. Whiptail Crow seems to be our spirit card, so... Let's summon another Crow. Alright, what time are we at? 20 minutes? We're good. Doing really good on time in this video. Yeah, last video, I did really, really, really bad on time. Like, the duels didn't even start until about 17 minutes in. <laughs> That's so bad, man. But, hey, I think it paid off because um, we got the themes and stuff. And that's what I want. I want I want to start using my intro. Nice! Okay, so this is Castle of Dark Illusions. And now, it has a flip effect where it'll power up zombies on the field. It'll get an initial boost of 200. And then per turn, it'll do it for four more turns. So that's a total of a thousand points over five turns. Yeah, pretty good card to use. Uh, luckily for me, he doesn't have any zombies out right now, so that effect does not apply. Now, something tricky you could do is play this card in your deck with DNA Surgery. 
That way you don't have to include a whole bunch army slew of zombies in your deck. And this card has really good defense, so you could theoretically boost itself by 200 with its own effect, DNA Surgery. And then over five turns, assuming it lives that long, which it probably will, it'll go all the way up to 30... What would, what would its defense be? It would be 1,000? It'd be 2930. Pretty good with just that combo alone. So that's something to chew on. That's something to think about for uh, a future uh, strategy if you want to do it. It's a really good one, too. I've actually used that strategy a lot in this game. So, yeah, I don't have the turn counter. I love that. I love that clock. It's a simple animation, but but it's really effective. I love it. All right, what do you got? You got a tribute? Oh, he did. What do you got, man? Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. I summon Pumpkin. He's going to give you the scare of your life. Woo. <laughs> Good card, man. It's got 1,800. Okay. I see you. I see you. Now, who did he attack? Damage step. I don't see who he attacked. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Who did this guy attack? Uh, Yes. Okay, so since he attacked Whiptail Crow, what we're going to do is... Can't we? Okay, wait. Yeah, there we go. In the damage step, we're going to play Metal Morph, which will boost Crow by just enough to kill Pumpkin. So, yeah, that was a good move by him, honestly. Like, in a normal situation, I would have done the same thing. I would have gone for Pumpkin and attacked. Like, screw the face down cards. Maybe they're bluffs. But, alas, mine was not... Whiptail Crow, counter attack. Metal Wing, Steel Wing. There we go. Metal Steel Wing. Haha. -ha. Isn't Steel Wing a Pokemon attack? I think Steel Wing is a Pokemon attack. So, yes. Our Whiptail Crow just leveled up to level 30 and learned the new move Steel Wing, thanks to Metal Morph. And a face down card. Okay, okay. Alright, back to full size. Sorry, I just, I just had to see who he was attacking there. Had to be sure. I used Metal Morph, right? Alright, next card. Ooh, we got Rigorous Lieaver. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Ah. Well, let me go over this card. <clears throat> this is actually a really fun card to use, too. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Show you what it does. So, during the end phase of each turn, change the battle positions of all face-up monsters on the field. Now, two big ways to avoid this. Set your monsters... And the, the other way to avoid it is, like, for example, if your card is Jirai Gumo, right? It has 2,200 attack, 100 defense, right? So if it's already face up on the field, which chances are it is, set it in defense mode and don't attack with it. That way, once you end your turn, it'll go back to attack mode, still have its 2,200. During his end phase, it'll change back to defense mode and just leave it in defense mode. Uh, because you could attack with it at that point, but then you're just it's gonna die next turn because it only has 100 defense. So, yeah, pretty good card when you think about that scenario. Um, and also, you could combo this with cards like Crash Clown and Dream Clown. Uh, Crash Clown, which we have in our deck, that way you start getting their effects multiple times in a duel. So, very, very good card if you combo it with Crash Clown, Dream Clown, and maybe some other type of positional effect cards. Um, in that regard so anyway that's labyrinth of nightmare <laughs> fun fact though labyrinth of nightmare was actually the name of a set released in Yu-Gi-Oh in uh, the US too so and it had like um cards like mask of restrict mask of the accursed basically all the stuff the um do I need to summon something Let's see no I think we're just gonna kill him yeah we should kill him he's gonna die right I think he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. But yeah, anyway, yeah, Labyrinth of Nightmare was a cool set. It had like, um, oh, it's good. Oh, that's what it keeps asking me. It keeps asking me if I want to play Royal Decree now. Uh, but yeah, uh, it had cards like Mask of Restrict, Mask of the Accurse, the Masked Beast, uh, and what was the alternate strategy? Yeah, because every set has an alternate strategy. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare, alternate strategy. Uh. I think were spirit monsters on that set? I don't remember. It's been a while. Huh. Leave a comment. Yeah. 
If you know what other cards fill the set besides the uh, masked cards and Labyrinth of Nightmare, yeah, leave a comment. Because I've forgotten. I'd like to know. Alright, and Neo the Magic Swordsman will finish him off. Go! Hyper Extension Sword! Braver! Auto Sword Attack! And that's it for Bones, guys. So we unlocked a new duelist, which is good. Two new duelists, really, over the course of this these two recording sessions. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, so that's good. You win! Alright. So let's show the stats. There we go. So we definitely want to save. And now that we have 1563, I'll do some packs openings um, as soon as we change the day cycle. Because uh, we're almost to the end of the day. So I lost two. Yeah, that's going to have to be the voice for Bones. Like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh man, dude, I should like do a shaggy voice for him. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, where are you? Roll over here. We're, we're just Scooby Stack. Scooby Stack. <laughs> oh man. You know what would be hilarious in this LP? Is every time I duel Bones, like, every time I, he, t he takes damage, I threw a dog treat at the screen. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like Vegeta does in the Abridged series. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Scooby Doo reference will start to kill you guys. You know what? It's done. Just like that. It's done. Okay, Bones is officially going to be named, like, I don't know. <laughs> Part of, part of the mystery uh, machine game. And, um, yeah. <laughs> he's the guy, and he's the secret mastermind, uh, having all these, you know, various guys dress up and make places spooky and haunted. He's a, like, he's like a shadow. He's like, he's like Merrick, except he doesn't have a Millennium item, and he's not very cool at all. So, but yeah. <laughs> he's the malevolent puppet master, like, funding all these, all these guys who happen to, you know, <laughs> want to scare people for whatever reason. Okay, so we have a duelist to the south, the south, what would that be? East or what? Southeast. And we have another duelist, like, right in front of us, I think. Uh, damn. Yeah, sometimes this happens where you can't just use, like, right and left on your control stick like I like to do. Like, you actually have to use the touchpad. Man, like, this guy does not want to show up whoever he is there we go okay man that took a while to find uh, so do we want to go north or southeast you know what I'm gonna flip a coin do I have a coin uh, yes I do actually I have a coin right here guys so we're gonna flip this this is a nickel uh, heads will go southeast tails will go straight up okay and it is tails so tails we go straight up I don't think it matters though. Oh, did I save? Yes, I think I just did. Grandpa. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, so Exodia time. This duel might take a while because he likes to stall us out. Anyway. <clears throat> You're Yugi, friend. Want to try dueling me? I don't mean to scare you, but I taught Yugi everything he knows. Is that so, old man? Now hand over that blue eyes. <laughs> Casket Guardian. Yes, yes. And is this his first time we're playing Grandpa? No, I think we played him like two episodes ago, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we played him like a couple episodes ago. But it's been a while, it's been a while. Alright, old man, it's time to duel. <laughs> oh, man. I can't help but do the Kaiba voice because, like, Kaiba's like the only person Grandpa ever dueled, right? Well, no, no, no. That's right, in, in uh, Season 5, at the start of the Casey Grand Prix, they basically had a, like, student teaches, the, I mean, master teaches the student duel with uh, Joe Nochi, oh, I'm sorry, Joey Wheeler and uh, Grandpa in that. Yeah, I mean, that duel was kind of interesting, too. He was using the uh, uh, ancient Keymaker Dragon deck. Call of the Mummy, that's dangerous. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> That's funny, I was like, that's dangerous. Play Skull Servant. LOL. Troll. Alright, let's go full screen. There we go. Alright, so he's got two monsters. Well, we don't want to let him keep two monsters, because he might have Blue Eyes White Dragon in his hand, so that's not good. Alright, so we'll draw. Nice. 
Alright, so I'm going to set Arm Ninja in Main Phase 2. But to start here, I'm just going to attack the Face Down card. Not even going to waste my time attacking Skull Servant. Yeah, there's no point, really. Horn Imp, eh? That's a good monster. Uh, what time are we at? Yeah, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Uh, if you do, yeah, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. And um, yeah, also subscribe uh, if you like. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm having a lot of fun with Nightmare Troubadour. And I'm so, so glad that finally my computer stopped glitching, man. Because that was... Whew, man. Guys, like, you don't know. I was getting so depressed and worried and all kind of stuff, man. Like, I was... Oh, my God. But it's okay. We're okay now. We are okay. So I need to hit in phase. Uh, what? What's happening? Oh, because I'm on this card, it's asking me if I want to activate it. Or look at the details. Gotta pay attention to the details. Details. <laughs> I love that reference. Ah, Poison of the Old Man. How fitting for you to play that, old man. Uh, yeah, I know what it does. All right, what are you gonna do? Ooh, Titan Yai Bento. That's a good combo. So he's gonna gain a thousand. Is he gonna gain the twelve hundred? I don't. I didn't see what effect he selected. Yes. Yeah, so that's good. Wow. Nice combo, Gramps. Stop stalling, old man. Fight me. Quit gaining your life points. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so we are going to get a direct attack this turn. Uh, let's start by flipping up Arm Ninja, because I want to do that first. Kagebushi no Mijotsu. I need to come up with a cool name for him. Uh, let's see. Yes. Alright. Shinobi Haishi. Goodbye, Call of the Mummy. GTFO! Now, what's Skull Servant's defense? Ooh, 200! What's your attack? Nice! Alright, so we're gonna get a lot of damage this turn. Alright, summon Giant Red Sea Stink. Yeah! That way, uh, Mooka Mooka and Giant Red can attack directly for. Um. For. Um. It should be about. What, what would that be? 3600 damage? Yeah. And that would put him at. Let's do some math here. Ooh. Because he had 10, 200. So that'll put him at minus 3,000, 7,200. And then minus 6. He should have. 7,200. He should have. 6,800 after this. I still have four cards in my hand, right? I don't know. Math is hard. <laughs> But yeah, I always like trying to do that math in my head. Keeps you sharp, keeps you on your toes. So was I right? Is he gonna have what I said? Is he gonna have it? Is he gonna have it? Da -da 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 Sixty-six. All right. Do I want to play anything else? No, I think we're good. Alright, so let's end the turn. Alright. Yeah, Grandpa, yeah, he's stalling out, but yeah, he's only got one face down and two cards in his hand, so not much he can really do. The snake hair. Oh no, whatever will I do about that? Oh, wait a minute, I know. I activate a trap. Old man, take this trap hole. The effect of my card destroys your pathetic monster. Now shatter into oblivion and die, old man. Alright, now I think we might be able to finish him off. Ooh! Firewing pick. That's a nice draw, bruh. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna play this. And I will gladly sacrifice. Thank you, uh, Shinobi Hitaicho. You did your job. I sacrifice you to summon Firewing Pegasus. Oh, man. And I'm definitely going to play Stimpak, because we're going all out this turn. We're going to try to KO him. Now, Mooka Booka will be down to 1,500, so... Um, yeah, I don't know if this will completely kill him, but this is going to do a lot. 
So, yeah. And I want to do damage, yeah. <clears throat> and you should too. Um, on Grandpa, you want to do his... While, while he doesn't have his stall cards out there, like... Uh, what did he play on this last time? He played... Last time he played... Ordeal of a Traveler. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, but yeah, before he has any of his continuous straw strategies, and I think he might even have Messenger of Peace in his deck, so yeah, that's annoying too. You want to do as much damage as possible. Take this, old man. Use that tail and slap him around, giant red sea snake. <laughs> I love how it sways back and forth. That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Firewing Pegasus, attack his life points. Meteor Wing. That's a cool name. That's a Bergermon's attack in Digimon. I think we'll go with that for Firewing Pegasus. Meteor Wing. Oh man, I should look up a clip of that on YouTube. Should I? Should I totally do that right now? Nah. Now nah, we'll just keep playing. <laughs> I'll have to like edit that in in later videos. Have that queued up. Meteor Wing! I mean, I love Bergermon. Uh, Sora. Sora was actually like... Uh... I, I really liked her character the most in Digimon. The original Digimon. Digital Monsters. Yeah. I loved watching that show. I never collected the cards, but I did get into the card game because one of my friends, um... He had like a bunch of... You know, he was basically Digimon's biggest fan in these parts. And, um, he had a bunch of, uh, wait, what's going on here? I can't, what? Hold on. Uh, what's happening? Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't enter my battle phase here. Well, this duel's almost over, so I'll just leave it at the smaller screen level. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, basically he had a bunch of the cards and stuff. And, um, he would let me you know build my own deck and we would versus each other and stuff I wasn't as good at that trading card game I was a lot better at Pokemon I was actually probably the best at Pokemon trading card game then Yu-Gi-Oh and then Digimon if I had to rank them uh, and those were all three <clears throat> of the trading card games that I played during junior high high school you know whenever that stuff came out but it was pretty fun anyway we're done with grandpa finish him off uh yeah Pretty easy duel. We didn't even take a hit. All right, old man. Now you're finished. You're going to go to the hospital now, because seeing holographic projectors can do that, even though the monsters are not real. Yugi, avenge me, Yugi. Well, Yugi's gonna have to avenge you in the next episode, because we're at like 37 minutes, so. I think we're gonna uh, go to sleep after this. You're very good, but you shouldn't learn to take it easy. I'm just an old man. I don't think my ticker can take it. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember him saying that. So we definitely played him before. Oh good, it's gonna automatically return us to our house. Let's already return. Yeah, that's a sentence people normally say. Pfft, whatever game. All right, awesome. So let's go to sleep. Go to sleep, ho. What's up? Sorry, I probably should not sing that the rest of that song. <laughs> Especially in this LP. <laughs> oh, man, I'm having so much fun. Uh, it's morning. Yes, it is. It's a brand new day. Well, we had a good night last night. Alright, let's save. I will overwrite that data. Baby. That's a K6 Scope reference, by the way. Shout out to K6 Scope, man. What an awesome LP. I miss him, man. Like, he's not on YouTube anymore. He was there for a while with Argon Matrix and Dark Souls, but I don't know. I guess they ran into some more, you know, personal life issues, which it does happen uh, with LPs. So, uh, so sad, man. I, re I love that guy. But he'll be back. You know, he he's never going to go away for good. He'll be back uh, on his own terms. Anyway, yeah, let's go to the card shop and let's get some packs because we have over 1,500, so let's do it. All right. And yeah, next episode will be the early morning duels, a.k.a. the more of the boring ones. So I think I'll start reading off the pack list for this one, Shadows and Labyrinth, because I think we finished this one, Miracle of Nature. So 
Yeah, anyway, let's get, um... You know what, let's get one each from these new packs at the start, because I just want to see... Well, actually, oh, now we're at 15.03, so let's, yeah, just get one for now. Paralyzing Potion, okay. Life Force Sword, okay. okay. Ooh, Mahavilo. Ooh, no rare. Eh, yeah, that sucks. But, yeah, Life Force Sword, definitely a good call against Grandpa for Exodia. Uh, and Mahavilo. Now, this is going in every deck we're going to make. Uh, pretty good card. And we have Metal Morph, right? Metal Morph becomes an equipped card after that. So, yeah, if we play that with Metal Morph, it'll take him to 1850 with Metal Morph, plus his own effect, take him to 2350, plus Metal Morph, when you attack them, you gain half their points. OP combo. Gotta have it. That's going in the deck. So, I'm glad we got that pack. Now, yeah, I'm not. You know what? I will get one pack out of here, just so it won't say new anymore. I'll get one. Uh, come on. Give us something good. Come on. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Dancing Fairy. Okay. Violet Crystal. Reran. Malevolent Nuzzler. Great! Yes! Now, this is a great equip card. Awesome. It's just a regular rare, but you see, it boosts by 500. When it sits in the graveyard, you can pay 500 to return to the top. So, we're actually going to take out Stim Pack because I don't like its drawback effect and replace it with this. So, that's great. Great. Glad I got that pack. Now we're going to go for Shadows in the Labyrinth because I think our Yami card is here. And we want... I'm going to say we probably want two of the Yami uh, Field Spell card. So I don't know how many packs it's going to take us to get it, but we're going to buy like quite a few packs here. Oh, we got a pack with a non-rare. Uh, Hero Tunnel Shadow Scout's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, your opponent draws three... Look at all the cards, the scroll, all the spells. Now, that's, that's a risky, you know, move. But there are a lot of really, 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 Harpy's Feather, yes sir. Do I need to go on? Do I need to go on? Do I need to name more? Chief Stuss will say, Monster Reborn. Soul Release, which can be bad. Uh, there are so many. So many good spell cards. So yeah, maybe a good call. It's kind of risky, but it could be worth it. Ooh, and we got Kazajina, super rare. Good, good. Doesn't hurt to have another one of that. Also, we got Gust Fan there. You can use that to power him up. But yeah, we'll go for a couple more. Let's see if we can get a Yami Field Spell. We just got an Umi one. Give me a dark one. Come on. Come on. Art of the cards. I want some darkness. Shadow Ghoul. Another super rare. Wow. It's two in a row. So Shadow Ghoul, pretty interesting. Gets 100 points for each monster in your graveyard. In other words, if you draw this in your opening hand, that's bad. What you want for this card is to either draw it or special summon it with Pyramid Turtle. I'm going to say about turn, if you get into a really back and forth duel and there's about turn 20, by that point you you usually have about 9 monsters in the graveyard. So yeah, turn 20 and on, that's a pretty good monster. But any time before that, eh, yeah, you, you don't want it in your hand either. You always want to special summon that from the deck because it's a 5 star. Just something to keep in mind. It's a good card though. Give us Yami. Oh, well, we got an Ultra Rare. Spellbinding Circle. Okay. Cool. Lava Battle Guard. Oh, and we got this to 80%. So, after we open these packs, uh, we should get a special special message. Uh, and this is going to be the last pack I try for the Yami card. Because uh, we're not getting one right now. So, Swamp Battle Guard. Yeah. Okay, so we got this to 82%. Alright, and let's back on out. Alright, so we get a special message from Grandpa here. Hi, Flood! You have a lot of cards. Let me give you this list as a present. I know you can collect them all. 
Gotta collect them all. Gotta collect them all. Yu Gi Mon. Just kidding. But yeah, for that we get the <laughs> we get the pack list for Shadows of Labyrinth. So, and I'll show you guys that. And then we will end the episode, I think, because we're at 42 minutes. And I don't want to get into an early morning duel. Could take a while. So let's go home. Let's go home. And let's save too, because we got an ultra rare spellbinding circle. I might add that in my deck. I don't know. I think one's enough, honestly. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it in. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah, to see the card list, you just go to your dual disc here, and then you click card list. <laughs> Pretty obvious. And yeah, now we have one Shadows of In the Labyrinth. So what you can do is, if you click on this, you'll get a yeah. You see that display, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me make it a little bigger. There you go. So you can see all the cards in right here below. You can also see the cards that you're missing. For example, this is Gate Guardian. Pretty good card. Go back to the small size. This is Bistro Butcher. I don't really want that. I do want Sangha. Uh, Karibo. <laughs> uh, Rush Recklessly. That'd be good. Sogan. Wait, Yami's not in here? Whoops! Dude, I thought it was. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I don't need to buy this pack for the Yami card. Whoops. Oh well. Well, hey, at least now I know. So, if I do keep buying this pack, the one card I'm going to go for, well, the two would be Rush Recklessly and Sangha of the Thunder. So, that wasn't completely a waste. Uh, we had a chance at Sangha, and we got Kazajin twice. So, and that super could have easily been Sangha of the Thunder. So, yep, not a waste at all. And we got the first card list. So, I'm going to save here, guys. So, yeah, if you liked the video, uh, please hit the like button or leave a comment for feedback. Or if you have a question or if you just want to say, hey, great video, thanks, Flood. Uh, whatever, man. And feel free to subscribe. And that's going to do it, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. All right. That was fun. Got to duel Grandpa. Grandpa, Yugi. Grandpa! Believe in the heart of the gods, Yugi. Take my deck. I know you